Good morning, Delaware. Hello, hello. Happy Friday. We're so happy that you are listening. And I have a very special birthday wish for wow. Mr. Mark Bingaman. Oh, yay. Thank you. Happy yeah, birthday, happy Mark. Birthday. Yay. Appreciate it. That's very <laughs> nice. This, you know, Ohio brought you a beautiful rainy day. Yeah, day so day. rainy. Uh, that's right. Oh, nice. <laughs> And a, shout out, Ohio. and a shout out to Ma for all the lay the hard labor 56 years ago. Yeah, too, you know? thanks, Ma Bingman. <laughs> Always like to give moms their, their due respect. Yeah, right, right. I know. Why do we celebrate you? <laughs> right, exactly. You guys really should be the mom. You get all of the all of the thanks and the kudos. Thank but. you, though. I appreciate it. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, welcome to Off the Shelf. It's another beautiful day in the neighborhood. So not beautiful. It's raining. <laughs> it's cold. I'm tired. But you know what? We did have a beautiful but I'll day. Perk up. We had a beautiful day last <gasps> Sunday. We had the most beautiful day in the world last Sunday. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Our guest this morning is uh, Sherry Bowers. She is our Liberty Branch Manager and, of course, Molly myers uh Deputy Director of the of the Delaware County District Library, on the microphone as well. But, mm-hmm. yeah, last Sunday we opened the Liberty Branch Library with Gorgeous. ribbon cutting, speeches, Snacks hidden in the um, upstairs uh, quiet reading room that were gone in five minutes. <laughs> hidden. Super well hidden. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, what a day. And a lot mm-hmm. of um, wonderful voices, especially hearing the children. They were so excited. Yes. Mm-hmm. And may I add, on the first day when we opened to the public, um, there were children out there dancing. It was Aww. beautiful to see. <laughs> it was. The, the crowd was fantastic. We love you all. Thank you for coming. Yeah, final final count. According to uh, Director uh, Brian, we had fifteen hundred people. We had fifteen hundred people on Sunday, March twenty sixth, for that grand opening, and so many more even since. Some of you came back, so it's hard to know how many originals. Right. But yeah. thanks for coming back too. We had over <laughs> twelve hundred on Monday. Oh my uh-huh. gosh! And what do we say? Twenty four. Hundred items checked out in one day. Yes, which yes. far surpasses uh, yes. any other regular. <laughs> we love it. Though. That's what we do. Yes. That it felt so good. And you know what's interesting? And uh, I was talking to Luke Bentley, and yes. he said that in the children's department, instead of going for the picture picture books, they're mm-hmm. going straight for nonfiction. Oh, oh so, wow! Um, yeah, um, uh, the graphic novels are looking. Pretty love, Pretty too. <laughs> they are. I know. Those are, I love watching that. That's, that's an area I love myself. Yeah. Well, we will, we'll talk a little bit about books this first half, and then the second half we'll talk more about Sherry and Liberty and the journey of getting there and what's to come with that branch. But uh, for now, Molly, I heard you read a book. I read a book. Yeah. Like, this is fresh <laughs> off the presses. I've been reading this book since January. Oh, congratulations. Why, thank you. I feel like I've accomplished something, <laughs> something here. So I read Ruth Ware's The It Girl, and I have to say I absolutely loved it. Once life calmed down enough that I could just sit and listen one day, I couldn't stop. So this is a story of Hannah Jones and Hannah Jones gets into the prestigious um, Pemberley College in Oxford. She meets her roommate on the first day. Hannah's from a small town. She's had to work so hard to get there. And her roommate is April Coots Cliveden with her follow or following on Instagram and her famous friends and her life that is just so different than anything Hannah's ever seen. Uh, April is 100% a party girl, and April immediately has all these friends circling her, including Will. Will, who becomes April's boyfriend immediately. They used to know each other, and Hannah immediately has a bit of a crush on him. But he's April's. She tries to hold that that up par. She also meets all their other friends, Hugh, Emily, Ryan. They become this really party, fun, supportive friendship group. And then one day, April's murdered. Oh, I was going to say, until. Dun, until. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> April is murdered. and they I knew bo- it was coming. And the truth is, you're going back and forth from today, where Hannah is now pregnant with Will's child. They've married oh. later in life to back when April was killed. Oh. So we're going back and forth in time. And you're a little suspicious 
that it wasn't the guy that April's testimony has put in jail that killed, mm. or Hannah's testimony put in jail that killed April. Right. Maybe mm. it was somebody else. So we have nonlinear time. We have jumping time Jumping back and forth. Between chapters. Yes. I think Fun. she does a really nice job. Yeah. It's before and after. Mm-hmm. And sometimes she'll remind you if she's going to a different time and after, she'll go after again, oh, okay. which is actually really useful if you're listening to this book. Yeah. I did better on this one, and I think it's because every time she changed anything, I knew if I was before or after. Mm-hmm. It was a great job. The reading was fantastic. But as this goes in, it gets darker and deeper. And Hannah, with her pregnancy, everybody is suspicious by the end of this. Mm. Everyone, I'm not going to tell you all the characters who come in towards the end because I just finished it. And remember, I started this in January. <laughs> right. um, that is not a reflection on the book. That is a reflection on my time. And I'm hoping to have fresh books for you for, for quite some time to go now. So I'm reading is, again. This is Ruth Ware and it's called again. The It Girl. The It Girl. Awesome. And it is definitely worth it. Though I have to say the reviews, I love it. The reviews are all over the place. Oh, oh really? So I have friends who gave this two stars. I have friends who gave this four or five stars. So it may have just been the book for me to pop in and out of because I kept thinking about it even when I wasn't reading it. It was in the back of my head. So it's one that carried me really well, but I don't know how I would have felt if I'd done it in one sitting. But this definitely carried me through, kept me engaged. I, I think I suspected every character in this book at one point. I like those. Yeah. So I thought I was figuring it out. And then at the very at the very end, I figured it out right before all the clues that were really, really obvious that the person who did it did it. But Mm -hmm. it took me because I just kept going back and forth. I mean, I went with the character. Yeah, right. (laughs) I went with the character. That's good writing then. (laughs) I loved it. Sherry, you have a really uh, fun, colorful book in front of you. Maybe it's inspiring you this season. Tell us about it. Okay, so this time of year, I like projects. Mm-hmm. I don't. It, so my project is right now um, trying to um, to acquire more native plants. Yes, and know more about native plants. So, I uh, and I, I have to tell you that our patrons are coming in upstairs to the nonfiction section. And they want to browse because they're working on projects. Yes. So they want something, you know, subject related. So I'm, I'm on a journey to continue putting native plants in and around my yard. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. what I'm looking into right now is a monarch uh, butterfly station. I love the I love monarchs. That. I know. So with that is I have to understand the different native uh, flowers that mm-hmm. attract monarch butterflies because they need to stay and do their thing before they journey on. Right. Mm-hmm. So different types of milkweed. They need different mm-hmm. type of nectar plants. Now, mind you, I I know very little about flowers. This just kind of popped into my uh, vision two years ago. Uh-huh. So I couldn't be walking with you along the road and say, oh, that's a whatever. Oh, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. However, that's why I have this really colorful book of wildflowers of Ohio. Uh-huh. Because yeah. I want to see what's in my yard. And then I also want to kind of figure out where... Where is this going to be that I, because it needs sun mm-hmm. and I need to um, pull out um, dead weeds mm-hmm. and I need to put the right types of plants. And I'm looking at about a 10 foot um, by 10 um, area mm-hmm. with a lot of sun. Mm-hmm. So it's going to take some thought. So um, this is what I love to do is sit in the library and in the subject area that I'm interested in, yeah. mm-hmm. sit on the floor and just start pulling books and looking. <laughs> right. I can do that in knitting pretty easy, so I understand that. <laughs> so the other thing I was looking for when I was in that section was um, common mosses, liverworts, and I'm not, and I think this is how you pronounce it, and lynchens of Ohio. Oh, oh lichens. yeah. Lichens. 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 Okay, yeah. lichens. Uh-huh. I told you I, I know very little. Yeah. <laughs> but, but as I've watched what has happened in and around my yard in the woods, and I'm thinking, okay, so I need to know more about this, mm-hmm. and um, I have to tell you. So, right, talk about um, subject areas and how you can get so involved in things. And I, you know, our patrons need to come up and just browse yeah. because there's yeah. so much beautiful space to yes. do that. So, right next to it are a series of probably six or seven books on mushrooms. <laughs> now, what I found out is that I have morel mushrooms, and those of you out there, oh, that's listening, a big deal. Oh, that is it a is really a big, big deal. deal. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that, so please. Audience, don't cringe. I thought, oh, these mushrooms. I was kicking them around, these morel mushrooms. Oh, no. Yeah, that's no. not a good thing to do, <laughs> yeah. I found out, because they're really wonderful. But 
anyhow, so that's that's something that might be maybe next year or yeah. um, you know mm-hmm. my next project. But yes, so there there's plenty of um, uh, books up there, subject headings that um, mm-hmm. I think would attract any listener, and yeah. also the spaces there. Is, yeah, there, it's just beautiful up on the second floor, and you can grab these books. You can talk to Megan, Caleb, or Sarah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, they can uh, they can put additional books on hold, but you can. There's places you can sit and just do what I do and and yeah. um, fan the books out yeah. and 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 look through them. And if you yeah. catch Carrie, she'll uh, even tell you about her upcoming book clubs too. She yes. has some really great titles yes. chosen. Yeah. So. All right. Well, you know what? You guys did great with your book talk, so I'm not going to fill airtime with mine. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hang on to mine for next week because it's actually. My book club is doing a read and watch. So every year I'm in a book Ooh. club and personally, and we do um, our anniversary month, which is April. We always do a book that also has a movie um, mm-hmm. that it's been made into. And so for that book, for that month, we, we do the book and we do the movie and then we do an overall book discussion. And that's going to be next Thursday night. So I'm going to hang on to my stuff for next week. Nice. We'll, we'll take a break now and then we'll come back and we'll talk more with Sherry Bowers about the Liberty Branch Library. So stay tuned. Goodness, we can't catch up. There's lots of rain, lots of wind. This is so two, much wind. This is so two much rain. Saturdays in a row that we're just going to have these crazy winds. How, how did all your things survive, Gage? You doing okay? So far. <laughs> had a couple of solar panels blow last week, but, you know, we uh, had to put some more stakes in the ground, so we at least got it secured. And your bird cams <laughs> hung out? So far. That's good. The, uh-huh. there, were, there was this funny clip where literally the, the, the feet are swinging right with the wind, and there's this one bird hanging on the <laughs> <laughs> That <laughs> one's dedicated. You will not make me fall. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, we're back on Off the Shelf. I'm Nicole Fowles. I have in the studio with me Molly myers Labadee and Hello. Sherry Bowers. It's so nice to have you two both with me today. Um, we were reminiscing in the first half of the program about what an amazing weekend we mm-hmm. had last week. Um, we had the giant public event for the grand opening of Liberty, but we also had a lot of like nice other smaller events, too, that we called part of our preview week. Oh, so nice. It was a lovely week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the Friends of the Library, oh my gosh, they put on such a fun, um, I'm going to call it a gala, even though yes. it wasn't like, you know, black tie, but it was very nice. I was having fun. Yeah. It was, it was lovely, and everybody around me was lovely, and we all felt lovely. Yeah. It was nice, and you know what? Um, I think what made it really sweet was the fact that we survived all those wins last <laughs> every day, no. and, and because I, I texted Molly and said, I wonder, because I lost power, oh, and I right. said, I hope we don't lose power. And I said, don't jinx us. Stop saying that. Stop <laughs> it. No, I had curled my hair, and I remember walking from my car, because I'd parked further away, into the building, and I was like, it's going to be straight. All that work, and it's going to be straight. It survived it, is what I'm happy to report. It did survive it. It really did, and but you know that was, I mean, my head was just blowing straight. I think, I think we just, like in the building of this building, like we just... We're getting all the tests from nature. Like nature's yes. just like, here we go. We're going to test rain. We're going to test wind. Um, you know, soon summer's going to come. We're going to test heat. Yes. We'll see how that goes. That's too. my favorite one. Yeah. We could still get an April snowstorm. Oh, gosh. Please. Sherry. <laughs> Sherry, this oh. is like the windstorm. Oh. Stop saying things. Well, well, <laughs> the only reason I say that is because I remember my senior year of spring break. We got a snowstorm on April 4th. And... We were really concerned about not being able to go because I was going with my friend, and we were already 18. So, so everybody on the radio, if we get a massive snowstorm, just remember, Sherry brought it to life. <laughs> well, okay, so Sherry, give us some of the – you are the branch manager of the Liberty Branch Library. Um, it is now completely open to the public. Give us some of the highlights of the branch. What, what are the things that when you talk to people and they're like, tell me about it, what are the things you say? Oh, my goodness. Where to start? <laughs> uh, so when you come in, I, maybe I'll, 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 ki- I'll kind of reflect on what people are saying mm-hmm. when they walk in I that building. Yeah. Yes. And they kind of stand and they look around and they don't know where to go. Yeah. So if they have children, you know, we direct them right there. But, you know, I, I can't pick a spot to go first because I love going everywhere in that mm-hmm. building. So... Uh, I would say, it, looking at the highlights, I think you just need you just need to start walking around if you're not part of a tour because it, there's so much to take in. And I will say this: don't plan to be in and out. No, 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 no. no do not do that. Come in and uh, 
Give yourself time. Yes. Go upstairs if you are interested in uh, fiction or nonfiction, adult fiction or nonfiction. Go upstairs and um, talk to our staff upstairs. You know, there's so many places up there to take in. We have a quiet reading room. Mm -hmm. We have an outdoor space, outdoor uh, patio Mm -hmm. that will be um, on the second floor, which is once we have furniture, it's going to be nice to to enjoy. Actually, people are enjoying it without the furniture. They're like, this is great. Uh Uh-huh. Uh, study rooms, uh, just walking around up there, you could pop in and look at the teen area mm-hmm. because that's cool too. My husband was really impressed with the with the study rooms. And I think what the cool thing is about a new library is it gives you the opportunity to let people know that, yes, this resource is fun and exciting, but it's also something that we've always yes. had. And they don't always realize that. My husband toured the branch. We had a staff preview day. Mm-hmm. And he goes, oh, my gosh, those, like, conference rooms and I was like yeah we call yeah. them study rooms but yeah conference rooms study rooms they seat between two and ten he's like people can reserve those and I was like yep. yeah <laughs> yeah at, mm-hmm. and, and at our orange branch and at our Delaware main library and you know even uh-huh. Ostrander you could rent that room if you if you needed it and he was like really <laughs> you know so it's a kind of nice way to you know reinvigorate the community you know mm-hmm. though one of the things i'm impressed as i walk around the building and sherry tell me if you don't see this is all the spaces people are finding as their own like right. yesterday we had these booths on the second floor and i walked by and on the first booth was somebody cutting out pieces clearly an educator or cutting out like words or like flash little symbols to do something with in the next booth there was somebody sitting there and she was on her computer working mm-hmm. like typing a Way. And in the third booth, somebody was just sitting there with her book open flat in front of her. And I was like, this is this is it. This is amazing because this is the perfect spot for all three of these. Right. And throughout the building, you're seeing those in the little corners and the cubbies. People are just finding their place to be. Mm-hmm. And they love the, cor- the courtyard. Oh, yes. And and I'm surprised children love to go out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In the courtyard. The children spa- the spaces that children are being themselves and it's perfect is amazing to and, me. And it's safe too. Yes. Like what I love about that courtyard is that it's it's an it's an open air space, uh, but it's completely enclosed. Mm-hmm. And so like parents or guardians, you know, take your small ones in there to get a breath of fresh air and then like just let them run because yes. there's nowhere for them to go. Uh, <laughs> there's only like a door in and a door out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then people are moving outside. Yesterday was a perfect yes. day to be outside, so yeah. we saw people in the courtyard and mm-hmm. the side, the side courtyard or the side yards Gardens, too. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I think um, th- that is one of the fun little surprises that we have as part of this branch. So, if those of you who know our Orange Branch Library, we have the Imagination Garden, which mm-hmm. is on the north side of the building, and it has some art as part of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's got, you know, a dragon, and it's got some other mythological creatures in there as well. Um, and so that's our Imagination Garden. And so at this branch, we've played around with calling it Harmony Garden yes. because we have some toys in the garden that make a little bit of noise it's yes it's, it's happy noise it's the happiest noise they're not that loud yeah, we hope the neighbors are okay with that. yeah they're <laughs> they're really not they're some chimes and some hand drums yeah but i've gone out there trying to make big noise myself and it's gentle noise it's, it's, it's not gonna if a child's playing with it it's not gonna scare your child no. mm-hmm. so let's not forget the learning stairs yes. oh yes you can go down there and if you and turn the corner you'll see um meeting rooms yeah. and mm-hmm. the maker studio yes. oh that's been popular yeah, and, and yes that's non-stop even when we're not open people are down there looking mm-hmm. in and, oh yeah and, and wanting um to know more about it yeah, yeah. So. and those study rooms that we talked about those are available for reservation right now um the community room we gave it a little bit of time because we knew that as a library we were going to need to have our yeah. staff kind of reevaluating space and making sure making we're sure the keys are all working to be really honest <laughs> right. yeah. you know we're, we're still testing out all of our our mm-hmm. little pieces and parts yeah so those large community rooms those um, will open up for the public to book uh, you can book it um, you can get access to booking it on June 1st uh, for your first use as early as June 5th. So mm-hmm. get ready for that. It'll be on our website. So we're going to talk a little bit about some of the upcoming programs that we have at the library. But as we look at what was, what's coming ahead this week, um, Sherry, are there any programs coming up at Liberty that you're particularly excited about? I just think story times mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. we have great 
librarians throughout children's oh, librarians do. throughout this um, system, and every each of them are just so different in how they present their story times. So I'm looking forward to sitting in on the first story time and mm-hmm. uh, and and just coming away really excited because it's been a long time since I had little ones. To yeah, change. yeah. So I think that's the, you know the book discussion groups that are coming up. And, and just the one-on-one engagement that I'm seeing. So, you know, we talk about programs, but we forget about all the um, interesting dynamics between staff and mm-hmm. patrons when they come in. Mm-hmm. You know, certainly our circulation department is is there right when you come in to yes. the left. And, and they're ready to engage patrons as well. Yes. So I, We've I, missed I like it not all. having them. We yes. were ready to go. Yeah. Yes, it's been a long time. In fact, we were kind of laughing as a staff because we said it's been so long like we're almost forgetting what we're, what to do <laughs> but you know what with over 1200 people on monday for opening day you learned real fast yes, yeah. we did. yes you did yes we did <laughs> you you learned mm-hmm. real and fell fast. right back into what they do so well yes mm-hmm. so that story time there's one this week at 10 30 at the liberty branch library and then you have another one on friday at 10 30 as well um, and these are going to be family story times for all ages. So mm-hmm. bring bring the whole family um, if you can make it this Wednesday and Friday at 1030. Um, some other fun things happening this uh, this week is we are in the process, I think, of starting up some story walks. I think yes, Powell I think that's one. coming. Pal has one for sure. And if uh, you don't see it, then we might even wait until May. Um, Because, you know, all that rain and all that crazy wind happening. Mm -hmm. It's snow. (laughs) It's snow. Sherry. Sherry. (laughs) (laughs) We do have, um, let's see, Toastmasters is coming up at the Orange Branch Library on Tuesday at 615. This is a partnership that we've had going for a long, long time. It's a great partnership that we've Mm -hmm. been working with for a long time. And if you don't know about the Toastmasters organization, if you're nervous about public speaking, they are the single best place to make you feel confident, be a great speaker. They're wonderful. I also want to throw out, we've got a middle school book club coming up um, at Delaware, Maine from 4 to 5 on April 3rd. And the topic for this one is favorite spring reads. So don't worry if your kid hasn't read the book. That's right. This is a great one to jump in if your kid's really excited about a book they want to talk about. They'll be able to get comfortable in the club here. Right. It's just like our book talks this morning. Yes. You just go in and you do your book talk. Yes, especially yeah. if you finish one after three months. Exactly. Then you can be really proud and you can <laughs> tell so everyone about it. I'm so proud of myself it. right now. <laughs> and don't forget, you know, if you um, have a friend you want to meet with somewhere, you know, are going back to our study rooms. Right. Um, mm-hmm. Or, you know, a, right now a small organization that maybe you have, you know, five to ten people. Oh, yeah. We mm-hmm. can accommodate that as well. Right. So, um, it, and it's, it was interesting this week, too. I We've had a lot of students come up and say, is there a place we can study? And and I love it. I love to see the fact that they're taking ownership of the and of their time mm-hmm. to to book our study rooms. Yes, yes, they are. Well, I think that that is just the perfect sentiment to close our day on. I think that we've got a lot of wonderful community members who are still discovering the mm-hmm. Liberty Branch Library. Thank you, Sherry, You're for welcome. being our guest, and thank you for leading our Liberty team. Uh, Molly, thank you for always being our wonderful co-host. Always happy to be here. And Gage, thank you for the board. I hope your birds survive again. The big wins tomorrow. That's right. Hold on. (laughs) Until next week, we will see you in the stacks.